Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has actually been less than a month since my last upload. That's, you know, that's kind of cool. It's the first time that's happened in a little bit. <laughs> but you know, I, I found something very, very interesting today and I knew I had to make a video on it basically immediately. I have, I bought this album today. I listened to it for the first time and I just had to put my thoughts out there because there's so much swimming in my head from this crazy, crazy thing that I found out today. Um, I went to my local record store today um, and just, you know, just to browse, just to see what, what Yes, Rush, Genesis, you know, cool things like that that I found. I found a, co a couple cool albums. I got uh, ELO out of the blue, uh, which is really cool, which is actually a video I'm working on right now. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, but then I found something that I think is either a treasure or garbage, and I can't really tell <laughs> yet. Um, I gotta let it ruminate in my head maybe for a couple weeks and see what I think about it then. But that album is Three Ships by John Anderson. And I saw just the front of it at first, um, and I was like, is that is that just a weird coincidence? Is John Anderson spelled the same way? Is, or is that like the John Anderson, like the my favorite John Anderson? Um, and, you know, I flipped it over and there he is staring right back at me. So, yes, <laughs> it is that John Anderson. Um, and I was like, I have to buy it. I don't know what this is. I've never heard of it before. Have to buy it. So I bought it. I came home and I listened to it immediately. Um, and I have lots of thoughts, which I will share in a second. But then I looked it up to see what people's consensus was about it, to see if it was even talked about. Because obviously I hadn't heard of it before. Um, and I haven't found very much of anything of anyone talking about this really anywhere. Um, so I found that very interesting. Um, and then I listened to it and I can see why people don't really talk about this or really know about it at all. Um, I looked it up and a couple little interesting tidbits I found was that Trevor Rabin plays on this album. He plays guitar on this album, which is really interesting. Uh, interesting just kind of um, collaboration there. <laughs> I just thought it was cool. Um, and then his daughter, John Anderson's daughter, makes an appearance on it. It's very slight, very cute, very brief. Um, but I thought that was a little something cool as well. Um, but this album came out in 1985, which um, I, when I was sitting in the record store and I was looking, I'm like, when the heck did this come out? And I saw, oh, God, 1985. Um, and I said that because if you've seen other videos on my channel, um, you'll know that I have my reservations with uh, music from the mid-80s because, uh, I don't know, there's something about it that um, either has aged very well sometimes when there's really good songs from the 80s, or in most cases, in my opinion, it has aged very, very poorly, especially in genres like this. Um, rock specifically, I don't know what happened in the 80s, but uh, a lot of it just kind of went way, way downhill or completely changed. They did a 180 with their style. I don't know. A lot happened in the 80s. Um, so yeah, I gave this a listen, and there's a lot of things I have to say. Um, first of all, being... Um, I'm actually surprised at how good it is. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not praising this as one of my favorites and I'm not like gonna be listening to this over and over again. But for something that came out in 1985 and John Anderson's take um, on Christmas music, which I forgot to mention, this is actually a Christmas album, <laughs> which is why I decided to do this. Um, I flipped it over and I was like, wait a minute, Ding Dong Merrily on High. Oh, holy night, Jingle Bells, what's going on here? Um, so it has a mixture of traditional Christmas carols as well as some Christmas originals, I guess. I don't know. The original songs by John Anderson don't give as much of a Christmassy feel, obviously, as the Christmas songs. But there's some really interesting stuff here. Um, specifically, um, Ding Dong Merrily on High um, and Day of Days. Those are just kind of some interesting things. Uh, it's interesting because... Christmas music has, like, a, a very interesting dichotomy in the way that it happens. You have your, your Christmas standards, those, you know, the Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, Andy Williams, Nat King Cole, all of, like, the, you know, that perfection that we always listen to because it's just, it just warms your heart and just reminds you of family and just great times, you know? So that, that's why everyone loves Christmas music. But then you do a little 180 and then there's the people who are like, no, I'm not going to stick to this stuff. I'm going to go somewhere strange and you're not going to know what's going to happen at any moment, but I'm going to change up the Christmas formula and they either flop um, or they do really well. They, you know, there are some of those Christmas songs that are like way out there that happen to do really well just because they are that strange. Um, clearly this one kind of flopped because you never have really heard about it or if you have heard about it, please let me know in the comments because... I'd like to know how many of you out there actually know what I'm talking about right now. Um, 
So yeah, uh, before I get into the actual talking about like the songs themselves and my opinions on that, um, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 200, so you know, be sure to hit that. Uh, um, so as I said, the interesting songs uh, that immediately struck out to me when I uh, was listening to it was Ding Dong Merrily on High uh, and Day of Days. Day of Days being one that John Anderson wrote himself. Um, Forest of Fire also being one he wrote himself that I found very interesting. Um, I was very worried because when I looked up... Um, on different sites about like the background of this album and i saw the instruments that were played um there was one that was like i think it said electric viola and i was like oh god the 80s what did you do why are we electrifying all instruments that's not necessary <laughs> um but you know what it it worked in this context in the context of a one-off christmas album that just kind of had its stuff going for it you know what i'll take it that's okay um so when he messed with the with like Oh Holy Night and stuff like that, it was actually not too bad. He didn't go too crazy with it. So, you know, I appreciated that he didn't like completely progressive rock my Christmas music, which, you know, it, it is kind of that in a way. It is kind of a mixture of, of progressive, maybe more like progressive pop than a rock um, with Christmas. And, you know, it's got some stuff going on with it. Um Oh, and then Jingle Bells, which has John Anderson's daughter, Jade Anderson, on it, which is really cute. She's probably like five or six, maybe. Um, that's being generous. And it's it's just her singing. It's about 30 seconds of just a cute little rendition of Jingle Bells. Um, it's really cute and, and a cool addition. I kind of wish it was just John Anderson doing his rendition of Jingle Bells, whether it be weird progressiveness or just a straight version of it. I just w wish I could have heard something like that, you know. So kind of disappointing in what we could have had. But, you know, it is cute. Uh, it's a cute little thing, father-daughter thing. I, I bet they look back on that and, and smile. Maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> um so yeah, Three Ships, the title track, obviously, uh, also interesting. There's a lot of um, electrification, I don't know, uh, that's the best term that I'm going to call it, um, with a lot of, you know, that classic 80s synthy um, kind of sound, um, and it works in a way. I'm not going to praise this album and say this is the the best Christmas music I've ever heard. This is my new, what I'm going to put on when family's over Christmas music. No, not even close. I don't even know if I'd give this another listen until probably, you know, next Christmas when it's a fun novelty to, oh, let's put on three ships because it's funny. Um, it's got some merit to it, as I said. Um, it's got some stuff like like the two, three songs that I mentioned before. There's, It's really good. John Anderson's voice, as usual, is just absolutely fantastic. He's in peak form in this time, which it sucks that there's not, um, you know, as good as stuff happening like, you know, earlier, yes, or, or Elias, um, which I made a video on if you want to check out. Um, so it's good. It has its merits. His voice is amazing. Uh, some of the instrumentation, his songwriting is really good. Instrumentation isn't all there, which, you know, that's okay. Um, we take what we can get from 1985 albums. Um, the one thing that I thought was genuinely terrible, and I'm going to pull up my notes here to double check so I don't say anything wrong. Um, there was a woman that did uh, duet vocals on Oh Holy Night. Her name was Sandra Crouch. So I looked her up. Sandra Crouch, she's some... Uh, Christian gospel singer, and I, I heard it, and I'm like, oh, John Anderson singing Oh Holy Night, that's wonderful. And then her vocals came in, and I was like, what am I listening to right now? I is she okay? I I don't know. It was it was interesting, to say the least. Um, so yeah, that was probably a weaker, <laughs> a weaker portion of this album, but you know, in general, a fun novelty something. Um, I really like the album art. It's very um, of that time, you know, um, so it's cute. I like it. It's something that, you know, it's a novelty you listen to every once in a while. It's a cool thing. So let me know your thoughts in the comments if you've ever heard of this. Um, if you haven't, listen to it and then let me know your thoughts. I always love to hear um, what Yes and John Anderson fans have to say. I love talking with you guys. You guys are really an amazing fan base. Thank you so much for everything, truly. Um, so please be sure to share this video around and um, as you wait for my upcoming projects, which are coming hopefully within the next week or so. Um, so I'll see you guys then with those kind of videos. Bye-bye.